When you get a question that gives you the velocity function and you're required to find the distance covered between t equals a certain time and t equals something. Some people have said that all you have to do is plug in t at 3. So in this case, you're going to have 3 times 3, which is 9 minus 5, that's 4. And then subtract um, when you plug in 0. Um, 3 times 0 minus 5, that's negative 5. So it's going to be 4 minus negative 5, which is 4 plus 5, which gives you 9. But 9 is not the answer. Okay. And some people have said, come on, it's a velocity function. And you're going from, three to, uh, from 0 to 3. Just integrate. Just do this. Is the integral of the velocity function, 3t minus 5, from 0 to 3 dt. Whatever you get will be the distance that, have, that, you, that the particle has traveled. But if you do this integral, what you're going to get is 3t squared over 2 minus 5t evaluated from 0 to 3. And um, if you do that, you're going to get 27 over 2 minus 10. 27 over 2 minus 10 is going to be 27, sorry, minus 15. Oh, it's even 15. So it's going to be 27 minus 30 over 2. That's negative 2. Okay, uh, this also is not correct. So what really is going on? How are you supposed to find the distance if all you have is the velocity function distance not displacement well if you're watching this video and these two options frustrate you because i said they're incorrect then you're in for a good time let's get into the video so let's go straight to the point Whenever you get a velocity function and you're given a time interval to find the distance, not displacement, distance. Remember, this question is about distance, not displacement, because there's a difference between distance and displacement. If you start from here and you end here, your displacement is just this. But how did you go from here to here? What if you went this way and eventually got here? This is the distance you have traveled to get here, but this is your displacement. Okay, so a direct integration of this without considering whether you were going left or right is going to be just this distance. So if you went left, you're going to get a negative displacement. Okay, but your distance is just an absolute value function that tells you everywhere you go, whether left or right, we're going to add up everything. And we're going to get a number which is going to be positive because you're actually left where you were before. So... What do you do? Actually, the integration option is the correct option, but with a tiny little absolute value modification. So distance is the integral from 0 to 3 of the absolute value of the velocity. Remember that, okay, of 3t minus 5. And this is where many students get stuck because once you put absolute value bars for definite integrals, um, it becomes very iffy, okay? So just watch the rest of the video and know how to take this integral. And what's important is you just need how, you know how, you need to know how to break this down because once you're able to break this down, you can get your answer. So let's break this down quickly. You see this integral, okay? Could be the same thing as this is equal to the integral from zero to three of this function. Let's see what this function looks like. This function, because it's an absolute value function, is something like this, and that's, that's terrible. Okay, something like this. When this function is positive, you're just gonna say it's 3t minus five, when 3t, when 3t minus five, is greater than or equal to zero. That's the definition of, a, of an absolute value function. It is what you see when that value is positive. It is the negative of it when that value is negative. So here, you just need to quickly solve this inequality. So th this function will have this value when this value is greater than zero. And when is this greater than zero? It means 3t um, 
is greater than or equal to 5, which means t is greater than or equal to 5 thirds. So what you write here is for t greater than or equal to 5 thirds. Okay, you're integrating this dt. Uh, I'll have to write dt somewhere here. Okay. Or the other option is going to be the negative version of this, 3t minus 5. When? This expression here is less than zero. So we do the other option. When 3t minus 5 is less than zero, that's the negative version. And when this is less than 5, we solve it. We're going to have, it's just the whatever is the contrary of this one. So we have 3t is less than 5, t is less than 5 thirds. Once you get this, you just change this to less than, okay? So this works when t is less than 5 thirds, okay? And that's it dt. Let's move this back a bit. So this is the most um, difficult part, is you being able to break this down and expressing what t will be. You see how I was able to establish this? Whatever, when you take an integral of absolute value function, you leave it the way it is when what is here is greater than or equal to zero. You switch the sign, you put a sign behind it, when it is less than or equal to zero, and you solve those inequalities to know what t will be. So now we can take our integrals. They're gonna be in bits. So let's go. Our distance will be equal to the integral. Now look, we cannot integrate this function. Let's put this function here. 3t minus five dt you see this function here is only relevant when you're dealing with values of t greater than or equal to 5 thirds. So you can only integrate from 5 thirds, if you're using this, to the maximum, which is 3. But when you go below 3, because you're starting from 0, so anything from 0 to 5 thirds, you'll be using this other integral and it, uh, function. And you see this function can be written as 5 minus 3t. It makes it easier for you. Just distribute the negative. This is what you get. So that's what I'm going to write here. Plus this integral beginning from 0 to 5 thirds of um, 5 minus 3t dt. So that's what we've got. And now we'll see what our answer is going to be. Let's do the integration. So this is going to be, let's integrate this. It's going to be 3t squared over 2 minus 5t evaluated from 5 thirds to 3. Plus, if we integrate this, this is going to be um, the same thing, 5t minus 3t squared over 2 evaluated from 0 to 5 thirds. Okay, let's evaluate this. So this is what I do. I write the fraction first, 3 over 2, and I open a parenthesis and I plug in 3 here. What is 3 squared? It's 9 minus I'm going to plug in 5 thirds here. So what is 5 thirds squared? It's going to be 25 over 9. I'm done with this side. Okay? Plus or oh, minus 5 times. I'm going to plug in 3. It's going to be 3. I'm going to, I'm going to subtract. I plug in 5 thirds. It's going to be this. Okay. I'm done with that. Move to the next one. Plus here, I do the same thing. 5 it's going to be 5 thirds minus, a plug in 0 is just 0. And the last one is going to be minus 3 over 2. I plug in 5 thirds squared, that's 25 over 9, 25 over 9. And then I plug in 0, it's just minus 0. Okay, next step, this is going to be 2 thirds, sorry, 3 halves, 3 halves of, um, so what would this be? This is 81 minus 25. That's going to be 56. Okay, that's 56 over 9 minus 5 times. This is going to be 9 minus 5. What's that? That's 4. That's 4 thirds. Okay, plus this is 5 times um, 5 thirds minus 2 minus 3 halves of 25 nines. Okay, let's now see how this works out. This 3 is going to cancel some 3 here, so you have 3 left. This 2 will reduce this to 28, so it's 28 over 3. So this is 28 over 3 minus, 
this is going to be 20 over 3 plus and this is going to be um, what would this be 25 over 3 and this is going to be minus let's go this 3 will cancel this what would it be that's just 3 so that's 25 over 6 25 over 6 okay whatever you get here will be your answer let's deal with all the threes first all the ones that have threes so I'm gonna deal with these this is 28 minus 20 that's gonna be 8 8 plus 25 is gonna be 33 so this is gonna be 33 over 3 minus 25 over 6 well let's see I can make this 66 over 6 that's 66 over 6 minus 25 over 6 Ladies and gentlemen, forty-one over six is the answer. It's different from what you would do if you didn't go through this step. So this question looks innocent, but the process is not that innocent. It's wicked. Don't stop learning, because those who stop learning have stopped living. Bye bye.